hey hey mark back again for another tutorial for my beginners uh, this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this effect oh that looked like it hurt <clears throat> so right off the bat you're gonna have to do a few things a you're gonna have to shoot on a tripod you're gonna have to have uh, the, on a, your camera on a tripod and uh, shoot the footage of the car or whatever going by, any kind of vehicle going by. And then once the vehicle goes by, don't turn off the camera, don't touch it. Walk right out and uh, right into that same spot where the car was. Walk out there and then uh, come back. If you want to get creative, go to your uh, local airport, uh, sit there with a tripod and uh, watch a plane come in, watch another plane come in, use the mirror effect. Make them look like they're going at each other and then have them collide in midair. But uh, the point is, you can use this technique in a lot of different ways, not just like I'm showing you in here today. Here's the footage that I shot here. I'm going to bring it down and uh, create a new comp right here. Um, to find your footage, it's easy. You hit File, Import, File, and then uh, find your footage and then bring it in and then bring it down to create a new comp right there. So what I want to do right off the bat is I want to create a plate. So I'm just going to uh, page down a couple times. I'm going to hit uh, edit split layer. I'm going to select the, the this little sliver right here. Right click time freeze frame and I'm going to bring that the entire length of the uh, composition. So this way I have just a, a clean plate, nothing on it, you know, something I can work with. All right. Now I'm going to find vehicle footage. Come on, come on, light. There it is. All right. I'm going to edit and split that layer. So now I have... I'm just going to find the beginning of this, so I don't got to keep messing with it. I'm going to show you guys a neat trick. Sometimes you need to to uh, add marks to remind yourself, you know, certain places in time on your timeline, and it'll come in really handy. I promise. All right, boom, boom, right there. I'm going to hit all. Well, excuse me. With your layer selected. Alt begin bracket. So now this is my car footage right here. Alright, so I got that. So now I'm going to find my walking out in the road footage. There it is right there. Let's see. I mean, that's pretty much almost what I want. I mean, that's pretty. That's pretty good. Come on, come on, come on. All right, so walks out. I'm going to want to get hit right there. So with my layer selected, the top layer, the person or thing that's going to get hit, you want to select that layer, right-click, time, enable time, time remapping, uh, set a keyframe, where you want the person to get hit or the object then uh, on that keyframe right click and hit toggle hold keyframe what that will do is everything up to that point will be the footage that you shot from this point on it's gonna freeze at the frame that we just put that keyframe on so at that keyframe it's gonna hold from then on at that position I'll show you I'm going to page up, moving, page down, not moving. Look at, I'll go deep into that footage. It's just not, he's not moving. That's it. He's done. But before that, moving. After that, not moving. He's moving, he's not moving. He's moving, he's not moving. Not move, not move, not move, not move. All right. All right, so let's find that spot again. Come on, fool. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, right there. Now, if you want to label or number 
this footage. You could hold shift and then above your keyboard press you know one, two, three, four, five, six, it'll number. Like I can press two, it'll put two. Three, three, five, five, one, you know, hold down shift and press the numbers up there and it'll it'll put whatever number you want up there. If you just want to uh put a marker there, you can hit the uh time divided or time sign above your number keys and it'll put a little little marker there on that footage. If I did it down here, it would put it on this footage. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of that. I don't need it. But that's a cool little thing to know. It comes in handy, believe it or not, when you got, you know, fifty layers of uh footage. It just it's it can get daunting. So it's all about organization. So but anyways, let's move on. So we want to have the car right here right before it hits us we want to put the car right here so we can animate the object forward so click on our footage up top hit the letter T for opacity and lower it down to uh, around 50 is fine click on your vehicle that's going to hit the layer and uh, let's bring that Alright, so what this is right here it just gives you more room to work, really. And it makes it easier to work. Because if I have it all the way down, see how small it is? I'll bring it up. Whoosh. Ooh, big. So basically, you move it, it's going to move a lot of frames. You move like this, you can move it at each individual frame 27 frame, 28 frame. So you can, you know, really dial it in. Alright, so we got that. So let's bring that opacity back up to 100%. So now we got to draw a mask. All right. So what you want to do with layer selected and how I just moved all the layers, spacebar, hold down spacebar and give it that hand and then you can move all the layers. If you do not hold spacebar and try to move, you're going to f up all these layers. You won't move this off uh out of whack. It'll be it won't it won't be good. It will not it will not uh, be good. So that's another neat little trick that I've told you guys before. For those of you that watched the first two tutorials, all right, let's move on. So, with the layer selected, our guy selected, you want to hit the letter G or select your pen tool, and then you want to uh, draw a mask around your guy. All right, I'm gonna do this kind of sloppy, just so I, you guys ain't uh, here all day. I mean, you guys can figure out how to draw a mask around. It's pretty self-explanatory. Down, right now, if you want to see if I if you just click, you can create these lines. If you click and hold down and then pull, you can create curves to go with the contour of the object you're trying to rotoscope. Ooh. 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 Mask around. All right, come on, baby. Boom. Boom. What happened? See how our car showed up? We're going to get rid of the mask for a second. So there's our car. So right now, it's looking pretty cool. Like the car's going to nail this dude, with that dude being me. Um, what you don't like, what I don't like, is it looks a little hard right there. The shadow. Not there. The shadow. Um, so we're going to hit with the top layer selected M, click on Mass Path. That has nothing to do with the hardest, that has to do with uh, just in case I want to mess with the Mass Path. I don't forget to hit that. I do that every time. And then the feather is where it's at. Watch right here with the feather. See that? I mean, that, see the difference between that and that? Just looks a little better. I'm going to go with, uh, we'll say, six, seven. What would seven? Between six and ten is fine. And again, use your judgment. 
it'll be a little different for each uh, e each person. So just use your judgment what looks best to you. All right. All right. So now we got this. We want to animate. We got to animate this guy. I mean, this guy is whack. Oh man. And we'll we'll, we'll deal with this later. You see how the mask. That's why I hit mass path because we'll, we'll animate the mass path boom that way we'll keep them in line but right now we're going to deal with this so with that layer selected hit P for position okay so I, wanna, I usually like to start back here all right hit P for position up or page down and then uh, hit uh, add a keyframe all right so you see that page down again. Now you should be able to pull this gentleman forward or your object forward. And then I like to just make sure it's stuck. So I'm going to hit page up and see. All right. So boom. We're moving. We're moving. We're moving. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Now page down. Get him to the end. Grab your guy. See? I just messed up. Easy fix. Control Z. What? Back. All right. Grab our person. One right there. A couple more. Right there. One more. Right there. Check it out. All right, just where I want to turn off the mask so you can kind of see. All right, so we're getting there. I mean, it's looking good. So whack. All right, boom, good. All right, so if someone got hit by a car like that. They would, uh, you know, their, their head wouldn't stay up there. They would, you know, would jerk back, right? So with the uh, puppet tool, we can do that. So up here, you have the puppet pin tool. Click on that. Now you want to you want to click on this the, the subject where the joints would be. So you have a neck joint here, uh, the waist it would bend at, and the uh, knees. We'll do those, okay? So then we'll go uh, forward, forward again, and that's when we're gonna. Oh yeah, that's good. All right, so let's see how that looks. Okay. Bang! Ah! All right. So now to make it look even better, see this right here? Enable motion blur for all layers with the motion blur select switch. So click that, and then click on your dude or your object that's getting hit switch and uh, watch the magic I mean this is uh, look at boom what a difference is that I mean what a difference look at that motion blur motion blur is your friend ready boom alright now notice boom. you can't have a head hanging so <laughs> We'll uh, get this dude out of here. All right. All right. So, whack. That looks good. That looks good. So now, really, just to finish it off, all you'd want to do is, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because you guys really should know, and I, you probably do by now. I mean, this is just more tedious than anything else. All right. You want to uh, animate the mask. See how when he's turning around, see how his legs are going outside and you can't see them. 
you just pull the mask out. All right, and you can even hold down control and then make a big sweep and do them all and just pull them out. And this will be uh, it'll get them out. And this way, and as long as you set that up, it'll be right where it needs to be at that time, okay? Because we, we, we already selected the layer, all right? So all you want to do, I mean, we already selected the keyframe and the mass path. All right, so we want to make that up. If uh, you want to deselect, hold down shift, click on it. And then see how it undid it, and then click it again, and then we'll get it open like that. And just be mindful of the shadows. And uh, yeah, you just do that up until uh, he gets out there, and uh, he's golden. And you've got your, f and you, my friend, have uh, got someone that's going to be getting hit by a vehicle. It's all good. Let's see if I can uh, get her to look nice here. Let's see. Alright, there it is, your uh, car hit tutorial. Hope this helped and uh, we'll talk to you again. Thanks.